Hello everyone! For this video, tsaka sa mga susunod pa, pag-uusapan natin yung solution of order 1 differential equations. From our previous videos, pinag-usapan natin yung elimination of arbitrary constants. Doon, given tayo ng solution tapos kinukuha natin yung DE. But onwards, ang gagawin naman natin ay given tayo ng DE, hahanapin natin yung solution. When you talk about solution, that is a function or a relation nung differential equation. Ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin ay solution of order 1 differential equations. We are only concerned with order 1. This is just the first derivative. How can we write our order 1 differential equations? Dahil first derivative lang sila, differential equations of order 1 may be written as we have m, it is a function of x and y, so it may contain both x and y and then dx plus n, it is also a function of x and y, dy is equal to 0. dx at dy lang ang meron tayo kasi this is just again an order 1. It can also be rewritten as this, m of x and y plus n of x and y, y prime. Kasi pag ginawa natin na minultiply natin yung buong equation by 1 over dx, mawawala si dx dito and then this will become dy over dx. That is just y prime. Ibang notation lang. And then it can also be y prime is equal to m of x and y all over n of x and y is equal to 0. Ito yung mga isosolve natin. We will be employing different techniques and methods para makapag-solve tayo ng order 1 differential equations. Now, we will be starting with somehow the easiest one. What's unique about differential equations is that bago natin siya isolve, we have to do different tests. Kailangan muna nating malaman kung yung method or technique na gagamitin natin ay appropriate ba dun sa differential equation natin. Now, let us start with our first one, which is separation of variables. Given a differential equation of order 1, Ito yung form natin, paano natin malalaman applicable si separation of variables? Ang DE natin is separable if it can be reduced to the form a of x dx plus b of y dy is equal to 0. Ibig sabihin lang, yung m of x and y natin, tsaka yung n of x and y, pwede natin siyang i-manipulate kapag nagawa natin na yung kasama lang ni dx is just simply a function of x at yung kasama ni dy is just a function of y, then we can use this method. Kasi kapag ka na-separate natin na ang magkasama lang ay yung function of x dx at function of y kay dy, then makukuha natin yung solution if we take the integral of a of x dx tsaka nung b of y dy and then pag kinuha natin yung integral dito, that is just c. So basically, ito na yung steps na gagawin natin for separation of variable. Una, i-reduce muna natin siya sa ganitong form. And then once na na-reduce natin sa ganitong form, then we take its integral. Then makukuha na natin yung solution ng ating order 1 differential equation. Para ma-check natin, if the following differential equations are separable, let us have a few Example, kailangan natin siyang ma-reduce into this form. This is our goal para makita natin if our DE is separable. Let's start with the first one. We have dy all over dx is equal to negative x over y. So, ang kailangan, ang kasama lang ni dy ay mga y, function of y, and then kasama ni dx is just function of x. Kaso, ang problema natin, yung dx natin ay nasa denominator. So, first, let us multiply both sides of our equation by dx. Multiplying both sides of our equation by dx, it will become dy. Mawawala na si dx dito sa left side. And then this will become negative x over y dx. Ngayon, dy na lang to. Wala tayong problema. Kaso nga lang, kay dx, meron pa tayong y dito. So, anong pwede natin gawin? Para mawala si y dito, we can multiply both sides of our equation by saan? By y. Para kapag kami multiply natin, this part will just become 1. Kaya y times dy, this is y dy, and then dito mawawala na si y ang natira ay si negative x dx. And then following the form, dapat una si a of x dx, although commutative naman ang addition, pero para mas okay lang siyang tignan, so ililipat natin to sa kabila, so this becomes x dx plus y dy. x is a function of x, 
y is a function of y kasama ni dx kasama ni dy so this is already in this form this differential equation is separable next for our second differential equation we have dy over dx is equal to x squared y Again, kailangan natin pagsamahin yung x kay dx saka yung y kay dy. Kasi it should be a of x kasama ni dx, b of y kasama ni dy. So to do that, imumultiply ko ulit yung both sides ng equation natin kay dx para mawala to sa denominator. Kaso, as an insight, makikita natin na meron akong y dito. So ang gagawin ko, isasabay ko na siya. So I will be multiplying both sides of my equation by Ano yung nasa denominator? We have our dx. So, kailangan ko ng dx sa aking numerator. And then, ano yung kailangan kong tanggalin dito? Kasi this will become x squared dx. Kailangan kong tanggalin si y. So, i-divide ko siya kay y. So, this part, ang mangyari, mawawala si dx dito and then, magkakaroon ako ng 1 over y. So, this becomes 1 over y dy is equal to, dito sa part na to, magkakaroon ako ng dx and then, mawawala si y. So, this becomes x squared dx. This is already a function of y. This is already a function of x. Ayusin na lang natin yung form. Ilipat ko ito sa kabila. This is x squared dx minus 1 over y dy is equal to 0. And our differential equation is separable. For our third differential equation, we have dy over dx is equal to y plus 1. Again, kailangan natin tanggalin si dx dito. Kaso, this will become y plus 1 dx. Kaya pwede rin natin isabay na na i-multiply yung equation by 1 all over y plus 1. So, doing that, multiplying this. So, nasa denominator to. So, kailangan ko ng dx sa ating numerator. And then, kailangan ko ng y plus 1 sa ating denominator. So, this is dx all over y plus 1. This will become... So, si 1 over y plus 1 napunta na dito, nawala na si dx dito, and then, this part, nawala na si y plus 1, napunta na si dx. Then, arranging our differential equation, ilipat ko lang to sa kabila, this becomes dx minus 1 all over y plus 1 dy is equal to 0. This is already a function of x, constant na lang naman to na 1, and then this is a function of y, so this differential equation is also separable. Now, let us proceed with our fourth differential equation. We have dy over dx is equal to x plus y. Again, as a denominator si dx, so let us multiply both sides of our equation by dx. Doing that, so this is dx. And then, ang mangyayari, mawawala si dx dito, this becomes dy is equal to x plus y dx. Kaso nga lang, ang problema natin, eto okay na to, this is not a function of x kasi meron tayong y. This is a function of x and y. Kaya kailangan natin tanggalan yung y dito para masabi natin na yung dE ay separable. So let us do some manipulations. So let us multiply x plus y to dx. That will become dy. So na distribute lang. So x dx plus y dx. So dy, okay tayo dito. x dx, this is a function of x. Kaso nga lang, meron tayong y kay dx. This is not a function of x. Another manipulation na pwede natin gawin is we can multiply this equation by 1 over y para mawala dito si y. Kaso nga lang, babalik tayo. This will become x over y. Kaya any manipulation that we do, hindi natin siya kayang i-separate. Kaya this differential equation is not separable. Ibang technique na yung gagamitin natin for us to solve this differential equation. So, as I have said earlier, ito yung part ng DE na medyo tricky. So, kailangan muna nating hanapin ano ba yung method na applicable. If we tested na yung DE natin ay separable, then tuloy natin. Pero if that is not separable, we have to look for other ways to solve our differential equations. Hindi agad siya dere-derecho na ito na agad yung gagamitin mo on our first look. Now, let us proceed with our fifth differential equation. We have dy over dx is equal to xy plus 1. So, ano yung manipulation na pwede natin gawin? So, again, I will be multiplying both sides of my equation to dx. Kaso nga lang, this will become xy dx. Kaya kailangan ko rin tanggalin si y. So, ang gagawin ko, sabay na natin, this becomes, mumultiply ko kay dx para mawala siya dun sa left side. And then, dun sa right side natin, kailangan ko matanggal si y dito. So, this is dx all over y. Kaya ang mangyayari, this becomes 1 all over y dy na wala na si dx. Itong part na to, mawawala na si y. This becomes x dx. 
Kaso nga lang, ang problema natin, this is 1, minultiply natin siya kay dx over y, kaya this becomes 1 over y dx. So, this is still a function of y. Etong dalawa, okay na, kaso eto, function of y kasama ni dx, kaya hindi siya separable. So, let us try different ways kung paano natin siya masasolve. Hindi siya pwede, so let us explore more. Let's do it more slowly. I-multiply muna natin siya kay dx. Tanggalin muna natin yung dx dito sa left side. So, this becomes dy is equal to xy plus 1 times dx. So, anong manipulation ang pwede natin gawin? Kasi this is still a function of x and y. Meron pa tayong y dito. So, I can distribute dx. So, dy. So, this becomes xy dx and then this is dx. dy is equal to xy dx plus dx. Kaso nga lang, this is still a function of x and y. Hindi pa rin siya function of x na solo lang. So, if I will be multiplying yung equation natin kay 1 over y, para mawala si y dito, babalik lang tayo dito. Kaya, whatever manipulation we do, hindi siya aare Kaya, this differential equation is also not separable. And then, for our last differential equation, we have dy over dx is equal to xy plus y. Pwede agad natin siyang i-multiply, pero kung makikita nyo dito, So, common si y dun sa dalawang terms natin. So, let us factor out, baka makatulong. Factoring out y, so ang natira dito ay si x, and then this is just 1. So, this is y times x plus 1. And then, imumultiply natin siya kay dx para mawala na si dx dito. And then, this will become y times x plus 1 times dx. Kaso nga lang, meron pa tayong y. Pero, the operation is multiplication, kaya pwede ko na siyang isabay. So, multiplying this part ng ating equation, by dx sa denominator. So, kailangan ko ng dx sa numerator. So, this is dx. And then, kailangan kong tanggalin si y dito sa right side. So, this is dx all over y. Kaya, this will become 1 over y dy is equal to x plus 1 dx. This is already a function of y. Yung 1 over y natin. And x plus 1 is a function of x. So, we can say that this is also separable. Ayusin na lang natin yung form. Ililipat ko si 1 over y dy sa kabila. So, this becomes x plus 1 dx minus 1 over y dy, this differential equation is separable. And that's it for our checking of our differential equation if we can use separation of variables para masolve yung order 1 differential equation.